This video is sponsored by AskTheNerd.com, Shaps, SSJ, The Theorist, and MKs. Hello guys, this is Uzaid and you're watching Professional Cyber. So in this video, we are going to implement the class diagram for hospital management system in Java. As you can see, the class diagram for hospital management system. I have already implemented the hospital management system class diagram in Java. And you can see the classes the receptionist, doctor, patient, user and billing. So I'm not going to implement the whole class diagram in Java but I will explain the patient class in Java. So let's create a class in Java, create a new package and name the package and in the package create a new class. As we are going to implement the patient class so the class name will be patient. So as you can see we have created the patient class. So in the patient class there are attributes p name and p id and they are private. So let's implement them in class. So they are private so private int p id that's it. We have created the attribute and next is p name. And that's it. We have created the attributes p name and p id. So now let's create the getter and setter in the patient class. So right click and click on source and click on getter and setter select all and click ok so we have created the getter and setter for the classes getter and setter like we we will get the classes to get the value of PID and another class so we are creating the getter and setter so now let's implement the operations so in the patient class create a constructor or method name public as you can see it is public plus sign refers to public and minus sign refers to private so let's create a public constructor so public void and what's the class name and the class name is people and write the functions whatever you want in the people right now I am writing the print method and that's it we have created the class of patient in Java so now let me explain the class diagram for hospital management system in Java so our main class is Java and we have put the void main class in user and you can see the three classes are generalized to user and in general represents the inheritance feature of object oriented concept in Java this can relate to extent keyword so in the receptionist class doctor class and patient class we have extended to user so this is the generalization so now let me explain you in this we have taken the switch case and we have created the object of class receptionist naming R and in the class receptionist there is a constructor or method operation called choice so in this choice so it will again we have took the switch case and in the switch case we have 
given the case one as give appointment and generate bill so these two are the operations of receptionist and you can see the operations in class diagram as well so give appointment and generate bill so basically why are we creating the class objects to retrieve the values from the class and this is the bill class let me explain the bill class this bill class and this is the b me object so we have created the bill class object and in the b underscore number we have stored the bill number and this getter and setter so that's why this the getter and setter are helpful to get the values so bill number so in this bill there is a method called bill number and it returns the bill number uh, that is stored in integer bin number 201 so similarly we have created the same class sys and we have just crossed the values using the bill class objects so let's now run this program or class diagram and that's it the user enter your choice receptionist receptionist like i want the uh, appointment so i will enter one and this you can see the patient id is 101 so in receptionist give appointment function or method we have created the patient class object and just we have retrieved the pid or patient id and stored in pid and similarly doctor id and pid and you can see the patient id is static and we have 101 and you can see 101 in bill in doctor 301 and 301 that's it so i hope you have understood the class diagram if you have any questions let me know in the comments below and visit my website professionalcipher.com thank you friends